her own very defined ambitions. Was that hard for you as a contemporary woman to, to sort of be in that more subservient? Um, not really, because Françoise is, uh, um, as I think we find out later, a very uh, modern spirit. Um, and, and, and I felt very, very close to her, actually, um, in lots of ways. Um, and she, yeah, just fell in love with the artist that she is. Um, Antonio, you, you put it very well that genius is almost a type of pathology. Right. Now we have here, of course, the man who literally wrote the book about the nature of curiosity. Brian Grazer, executive producer, who also in his spare time a couple years ago wrote a terrific book about that explored, it was called A Curious Mind, and it explored the nature of curiosity. <laughs> Is available this evening if you'd like to get it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, curiosity and imagination obviously go hand in hand with genius. As the shepherd is one of the shepherds of this franchise, what has doing Einstein and now Picasso, what has it taught you about sort of the nature of genius? What defines genius with a lowercase g? Well, first of all, defining genius is something that we've endlessly been looking at. For, since the beginning of the series. Um, and there's so many different ingredients, of course, uh, but curiosity is certainly one that I think that, that all of these geniuses and the geniuses even outside of our series seem to access on. Curiosity, having endless curiosity and using that force to assault the way, the laws of the world. Um, and, and, and I guess geniuses use that curiosity endlessly um, to assault the way things seem to be working and how it's affecting their perspective and how they seem to choose to want to change that because they don't believe in those particular laws. And when that force is used, curiosity, it has to have at least the same amount of grit because it has to be sustainable. Um, and in the case of Picasso, and I think you would, could be able to comment on this, is that geniuses seem to always be at war with themselves somehow. Um, they seem to be often over, trying to overcome emotional injuries that seem to be also an endless kind of lifetime project for them. Um, and those, sort of, those ingredients are usually um, kind of used in application to try to not only have an original idea, but then to bring form to that original idea, and then, as Antonio said, have it make a difference in the universe. 